Okay, this is my dad, Joe Kale, and his younger brother, Phil, and they're going to talk with us today about Syrian food. So what do you remember about growing up in Brooklyn in the 1950s about Syrian food? I remember the, the most significant memory I have about Syrian food is a, uh, a dish we used to call fowl which is really string, green beans, string beans. And I remember my dad, who used to work in the uh, garment district, coming home one evening with a bag of string beans. It was five cents a pound, so he bought about three or four pounds. It was a lot of them, so we put them in the hallway, the foyer. He went to work the next day, and he came home with another bag, four or five pounds more string beans. My mother was a little concerned. It was a lot of string beans. This went on for three more days, and we had 30 pounds of string beans stacked up in, in the foyer coming into the house. That was so he could enjoy found it, string beans, Syrian style, at a nickel a pound. That was in about 1945. Remember that, Phil? I don't actually remember it. I was probably two years old when, when, when that. In fact, I was two years old in 1945. But there are other memories as well. We used to, uh, we lived in an apartment house in Park Slope. And when we would come home from church on Sunday, we knew what we were having for lunch because when we opened the door to the building, you could smell the garlic from rolled grape leaves, which were oh, called yes. Yebedet. Yep. And you couldn't wait to get up the stairs and open the door and, 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 and expect and see this delicious... Uh, a uh, meal waiting for you for lunch. That, that was a lot of fun. And the best part of Yebra was that it was stacked up, the, the rolled grape leaves were stacked up in a pot with garlic and tomato sauce poured over them. But to avoid them burning on the bottom, they were stacked up on top of lamb bones, mm -hmm. see, to separate them from the heat below. And my father would always say, the Yebra is good, but the bones are the best. I remember that quite. That was enjoyable, but sometimes we came home and it'd be the brain of a lamb ah, yes. on the table in the yes. kitchen, and you'd look and you'd see this this animal part ready and uh, being prepared for whatever with the, my parents did with it. I never ate it. We actually. couldn't eat it. We couldn't eat it. We, we, eat it. we were. Now it's delicious, but we couldn't eat it. <laughs>